Hey guys, uh, my name is Bailey Carpenter. Um, I'm a digital illustrator. I'm majoring in integrated studio arts. Uh, throughout the slideshow, I'm mostly going to be talking about how exactly I became an artist and what influenced me to create the work I do now. So starting off, most of the work I create is 2D illustration. Um, I really love drawing birds and many different animals. Like so in most of my artwork, I enjoy bringing out some sense of Surrealism to both help the composition and to add in features or colors that complement the main subject I'm drawing. For as long as I can remember, I always loved to draw. I loved to copy photos of animals I see in picture books and just draw characters I'd see on TV. Sometimes I'd even love to draw the same picture over and over just to see if I could make it better the next time I drew it. So growing up, I'd spend a lot of time on the internet looking for the next thing I could draw. Uh, this was when I discovered a ton of artists on DeviantArt that drew pictures that absolutely amazed me. I remember coming back to their pages every day just to see if they had made something new, and with every artist I found here, I wanted to make art just as good as theirs. I felt like what drew me to these artists were their um, incredible creature decorations that always interested me. I loved dragons growing up, and seeing them represented with endless unique designs just made me fall in love with this kind of art as a kid. So these pictures here just show a bit of the early artwork I made when starting out digitally. Before this, I basically only drew with like a normal pencil and like printer paper. And like the transition I had to do from traditional to digital was pretty rough at first. Um, for a while though, it felt like I was doing nothing but drawing and just trying to learn how other people made their art so well. Um, I went to Hoover High School and I was able to learn a lot and like draw within my art classes. And towards the end of my years there, I was actually able to work on um, multiple logos for the school and including like this one here which is their 50th anniversary logo which i was actually really proud of at the time to help work with um the school on that with the first couple of drawings i made digitally it was always pretty frustrating when i couldn't come like even come close to the people i looked up to i don't even think i was using photoshop or anything here it was just like a free program i could find at the time to just like get it, get started on the artwork that i could put out on my deviant art page like, even still, the fact that I was, like, consistently surrounded by the encouragement from my, both my parents and, like, the all-large art community at the time were, like, helping me to keep drawing and improve. So, during this time in DeviantArt, I also wanted to give my own try at, like, creating my own design for a creature. At the time, it felt like all the artists around me that I knew had, like, a kind of character they drew constantly. So, like, I wanted to do the same thing. I ended up creating a feathered dragon-like creature called Apari, and this was basically how I was able to get more notice within the community then. It was a good way to collaborate with artists, and it pushed me to experiment more by using this character. I ended up drawing them so much that it ended up becoming the kind of logo that I used to represent me at the time, and it just stuck. It really was just a great way to include yourself amongst the other artists um, on, the like, on the internet at the time and just be able to work with one another. With the artwork I was making, this led me to creating a lot of new traditional pieces, pieces within my art classes at school. I didn't really have a chance to work digitally here at the time, but this was a really great chance to discover how to work more efficiently with other mediums like charcoal and watercolor. I was pretty lucky to get a teacher that was able to um, let me draw more what I wanted, and she actively pushed me to improve my work here more and more. So going back to the digital art, I was really starting to get the hang of the pieces I was creating. I found new ways to make certain drawings, and the fact that other artists were always willing to draw for one another always made it so like I hardly ever ran out of inspiration. This was also when I started to push the colors I was working with way more, and I loved to make artworks based around like certain color palettes. The lighting was still something I would struggle with at times, but I really felt like I got like a lot more out of art by pushing myself digitally by, um, rather than working traditionally. So these two pieces are pretty early examples of just how far I wanted to push the detail in my work. With, um, with each drawing, I wanted to find a way to make it better than the last, and in my way, that meant adding small details like fur or scales, or working with brighter, more lights, um, brighter lights that like push, push the contrast. The figures that I'd drawn worked out well for me. Even now, looking back, like it didn't really have like a good composition to each of these pieces here. Many of my works consisted of a nat um, neutral or less detailed background, and like for a few drawings, like the subject and the landscape didn't really blend together, like it was mostly just the figure on top of the landscape. So in my senior year of high school, I ended up taking an AP art class, which I feel ended up being like a huge turning point in my art career. 
I was tasked, tasked with creating 12 unique pieces of art that followed a theme. I knew I wanted to do something animal related, but I didn't quite know what I wanted to add to that. I ended up going with an idea of taking aspects of other plants or animals and combining that together to both come like to end up um, complementing each other and using those features to create an eye pleasing composition. Creating these artworks was not only an excellent teaching experience for me, but it was insanely fun. I was always looking forward to the next drawing and it never felt like I was getting burnt out of ideas or inspiration. I only have half of the pictures within the series here, but all of them really helped point me in the way that I wanted to take my artwork. And overall, the look and feeling from these pieces is something that I wanted to recapture and continue developing further on. During my first couple years at Iowa State, it was a great time where I had to go back and strengthen my traditional artwork a bit more. I felt like I wasn't nearly as effective working traditionally now compared to my digital work, and it was mostly because I missed working only with color. I still loved some of the pieces that came out during these years, and it was a good time for me to go back and properly learn how to work in these mediums. These are a few examples of the work I ended up creating in my, own, in my drawing classes. Before being able to work like this, I never thought I could use charcoal or colored pencil in the way that it was shown to me. And it taught me a lot about being able to draw a still life properly and proportionally. Getting the proper value there was also an important lesson here for me. I, I feel like it was easier to correct things digitally, but like here I had to be much more mindful about the decisions I'm making, which like helps me push my digital art uh, as well. With the pictures I was continuing to create, I was also happy with the audience I was showing them to online. These two pictures were recognized within DeviantArt's community, and I was very happy from all the words of encouragement from the people around me supporting me and my work. With each drawing, I aimed to make it more and more realistic, but I also loved adding bright colors and unique elements that brought in a surreal and sometimes abstract quality. This was also when I started to push my compositions more, and I wanted the background to help complement the piece more effectively. So as you might have noticed, I developed a strong love for drawing different kinds of birds. The interest in learning more about them helped fuel the drawings I was making for them, and it drove me to practice um, their anatomy more, as well as like the, te the textures each of them had. Even with this, I always strive to bring that surreal quality that I enjoyed working with. These are a few more examples of the different mediums I was able to work with and develop during my classes. Even though I said that I missed working with color, the chalk pastels was definitely the hardest one to complete out of all of these. I didn't like how if you made a mistake, you had to spend a bunch of time to work it out or that it was harder to get really small details worked into the image. Nonetheless, I'm proud of that how I was able to come out and it was one of those mediums that I never worked with before. In a few of my classes, I was given the chance to work digitally, which I was very excited about. It felt like I had the opportunity to really show off what I knew in my medium of choice, and with these two projects, I pushed myself the best I could to create a more personal and creative images than I ever had before. Um, Enveloped is kind of like a self-portrait that represents me, with like the songbirds being all, from all around Iowa, and like the opal eggs representing my birthstone. With Nightbringer, um, it was used to be a surrealist project, and I was inspired by other artists to create a kind of angel that brings in the night sky, all while carrying elements of the earth. So with many of the other classes I took, it was like a wonderful learning opportunity to try out pieces I never had attempted before. So like here we see animation, textile work, a page from a comic, and like even some 3D art that I was able to make. All of these pieces helped me expand the skills I could use. Even with that though, it's been hard trying to settle on what exactly I want to be doing after college. Some of my favorite pieces that I made during this time at Iowa State was with the BPMI classes. I felt like I was really able to capture an animal or plant in full detail and use the knowledge that I had been working in graphic design with to create like a full page that properly talks about the animal in great detail. It's one of those things that I wish it, I knew about earlier because working in these classes was a lot of fun to me and part of me wishes I had taken more classes that revolve around this area. As for the future, I personally want to explore different areas that I can apply myself to in order to find a proper job that I'm completely happy with. At the moment, I really feel like working in freelance illustration would give me the freedom that I want in order to draw what I want, as well as the flexibility to work on different mediums if I need to. The last image that I have here is like one of those commissions that I was able to make. And overall, I'm hopeful that the path I choose will be successful. Thanks for listening to my presentation, and I hope you enjoyed it.